Modifiers are words or groups of words that add extra information to a sentence. The most common types of modifiers are adjectives and adverbs. However, some phrases and even clauses can also be considered modifiers. All the modifiers in these sentences give additional meaning and clarity. Read those same sentences without modifiers. Students are athletes. Minnesotans dream of living. And Amy realized she'd forgotten. In the first and second examples, the meanings of the sentences are completely changed. The third sentence still makes sense. However, it doesn't have the same effect as the original version. The purpose of modifiers is to add extra meaning or to clarify sentences. Using a modifier incorrectly, however, will result in a sentence that is unclear and confusing. Think about this example. Kate saw a mouse taking out the trash last night versus taking out the trash last night, Kate saw a mouse. Which meaning is correct? Well, most likely, Kate did not see a mouse taking out a tiny mouse-sized bag of trash. By placing the modifier as close to the name Kate as possible, you can ensure that your audience understands exactly what you're trying to say. This lesson will help you to correct two types of incorrect modifiers, misplaced modifiers and dangling modifiers. A misplaced modifier is too far away from what it modifies. This makes the sentence potentially confusing to your audience. Here's an example. Daniel saw a strange looking bird using his new binoculars. Now, honestly, I think most of these sentences with misplaced modifiers is rather entertaining. They tend to put the most unique pictures in one's mind. However, they are incorrect, so they must be addressed. In this sentence, the modifier is misplaced because it suggests that a bird was using Daniel's new binoculars. To fix it, move the modifier as close as possible to the word being modified. Using his binoculars, Daniel saw a strange looking bird. One word modifiers should also be placed near the words they modify. Consider this sentence. The meerkat hid under a thick blanket of ferns shaking. The intended meaning of this sentence would be much clearer to the audience if the modifier shaking were placed closer to the word it modifies. Like this. Shaking, the meerkat hid under a thick blanket of ferns. Sometimes misplaced modifiers are harder to catch because both meanings seem realistic. Consider these two versions of the same sentence. The books in the library cannot be purchased. And the books cannot be purchased in the library. In the first version, none of the books in the library building are for sale. In the second version, the books that are for sale can only be purchased outside of the library. The meaning of your sentence will determine which version is the correct choice. Here's a slightly trickier example. The hiring manager nearly had to review 100 applications versus the hiring manager had to review nearly 100 applications. Now in the first version, it's implied that the hiring manager didn't have to look through any of the application. The second version, on the other hand, states that the hiring manager did look through the applications, all 99 of them. The second type of incorrect modifier is a dangling modifier. In these cases, the word that is being modified is completely missing from the sentence. Consider this example. After reading through the police report, the mistake became abundantly clear. The modifier in this sentence is dangly because the, the sentence never identifies who's reading through the police report. 
To correct this sentence, simply add the missing information as close to the modifier as possible. After reading through the police report, the investigator discovered the problem. This sentence is now correct because the audience knows that the investigator is the one reading through the police report. Read the following sentences and identify the one with correct modifiers. After finishing the exam, students began collecting their materials. In this very short lesson, we learned about misplaced modifiers and dangling modifiers and how to correct them. Thanks for listening.